Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's D. Lloyd, and we are here, you guys, finally getting ready for the playoffs. We finished with a 10-6 record, but before we hop into the playoffs, I do this typically at the end of the regular season. We're going to go through and look at all of the stats, all of the awards, all that good stuff before we hop into the actual playoffs itself. So right here, you've seen the standing, the Jaguars. They end up missing the playoffs, which is good for us. We were 0-2 against them this season. Did not really want to see them in the playoffs. They missed the playoffs, and that is definitely going to be a good look. The Seahawks, surprisingly, they are 12-4. We got one of the third-round picks, and that's going to be a late third-round pick because the record was surprisingly well. And I think the Seahawks will be this good in year number one. So that was definitely interesting. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at our season stats. Then we'll look at the NFL league leaders after we look at our team. And Marcus Mariota, he finished 20 TDs. 17 interception, completed 60% of his passes, threw for just under 3,000 yards a season. Very up and down season for Marcus Mariota, but I think he ended off fairly decently. Um, we have to get the fumbles and stuff like that under control, but I think he ended off way better than he started the year. As for running backs, Derrick Henry, 1,200 rushing yards, averaged 5.1 yards to carry, had seven touchdowns. Gave him the ball 242 times. Pretty decent year for him. Mariota, just under 800 yards rushing, 797 that is definitely great for our quarterback. So although he lacks a little bit passing, he definitely more than made up for it with his legs. Our leading receiver was Delaney Walker with 59 receptions, 655 yards, five touchdowns. Corey Davis, he also had five touchdowns as well. We needed a bigger year out of Corey Davis, but I mean, hopefully he could bounce back next season and have another great year. Yeah, but right here, we're going to go ahead and look at our defensive stats. For whatever reason, it wasn't popping up for a second. We had to go back, redo it, but eventually, we were able to get our defensive stats to pop up. And you're looking at Wesley Woodyard, 113 total combined tackles, 66 solos, 47 assists. That is pretty good. That is pretty good for Wesley Woodyard. Rashawn Evans, our second leading tackler with 92. Jonathan Cyprian, he had 81. So a lot of our guys who were supposed to make plays, they were making plays for us defensively. Logan Ryan, he had a pretty good year. When you take a look at tackles for a loss, Wesley Woodyard, 26 tackles for a loss this season. Absolutely incredible. Brian Aragpo had 12 sacks for us. That is also very incredible, especially at his age. Brian Aragpo had a very, very underrated season, but I like what he got out of the veteran and the former pro bowler. As for interception leaders, Wesley Woodyard, middle linebacker, had eight. Adoree Jackson has six interceptions on the season. Rashawn Evans, the rookie, with five. Kevin Byard had four picks. Logan Ryan, of course, had three interceptions. And Malcolm Butler only had one, or only had two, excuse me, but still a very good year for our cornerback. To Dory Jackson is a guy who I'm definitely, I'm definitely excited about going in the future. I think he's going to be a stud. He'll be a 90 overall in probably the second year at some point. So I like Dory Jackson a lot. I think he could be a lockdown corner for us. Now, looking at the NFL leaders, you have Phillip Rivers right here. He led the way with 4,400 passing yards. Tom Brady also had the same. He's about 20 yards shy of Phillip Rivers. You're looking at the most touchdowns this year, Tom Brady and Jared Goff. They're going to tie for that award, 37 touchdown passes for both of them. Jared Goff only threw seven interceptions, so a very good year for him. Russell Wilson, 34 TDs, 10 picks. Lamar Jackson, 30 touchdowns. 10 interceptions, just under 4,000 yards passing for the rookie quarterback. So a very good season for the rookie. And you really didn't expect him to throw for 30 touchdowns in his rookie campaign. Leading a you know, Leader in rushing, that goes to Le'Veon Bell, 1,400 yards. You have Kareem Hunt and Derrick Henry finished third in the NFL in rushing. So he came on strong late. He struggled a lot early. But once we kind of went out, Started going with a lot more stretch plays, things like that. It helped out the running game for Derrick Henry. Darius Geis, the rookie, led the NFL in rushing touchdowns with 13. That Leonard Fournette at 11 as well, so a very good year for a lot of those young guys. You see us trying to find Derrick Henry. He's all the way down there with seven. A lot of running backs still with more rushing touchdowns than him, but he still had a very good year. Fumbles, of course, Mariota. It seems like he fumbled just about every game. In fact, he averaged one fumble every single game, so... Hopefully, we're learning. We know we can't throw as we get hit. Sometimes we have to take the sacks. So, hopefully, we don't have as many fumbles in Season 2. As for the receiving leader, that is Rob Gronkowski with 111 receptions. We also had 
Doug Baldwin going over 100 with 107 receptions. Randall Cobb was also up there, which was also a little surprising, but a very good season for him. As for receiving touchdown, that distinction goes to Devontae Adams with 15. Cooper Cup had 13. You also had Cole Beasley with 12. So a lot of these guys, you, you don't expect them to get this many touchdowns, are getting a lot of touchdowns. Looking at the defensive leaders now, for the entire NFL. Once again, the same issue. Hopefully this is fixed up by now. You got to remember, I recorded all this before my surgery. So hopefully all this stuff is fixed by now when it comes to loading these defensive stats. But the leader was actually Levante David, 154 total tackles. A very good, solid number for Levante David. You know he's one of the best linebackers in the league, and he showed. Wesley Woodyard led the whole NFL in tackles for a loss with 26. Aaron Donald, J.J. Watt, Right behind him with 19 sacks, Khalil Mack. He led the way with 19, just a half a sack more than Vaughn Miller. So very, very solid stats. And for whatever reason, they did not show Brian Arakpo when it came to the leaders in the league. We knew he had about 12. They did not show him, but he was one of the leaders in sacks this season. So very good. Interception leader goes to Wesley Woodyard with 8. And they're not showing the Dory Jackson who has 6, who would have finished 3rd in the NFL when it came to interceptions, but our defense as a whole, they played fairly, fairly well. They definitely led us to our 10-6 record. I think our defense gets a lot more credit than our offense should definitely deserve. Now, for the fun part, let's go ahead and look at the league awards, and the MVP goes to Jared Goff. In year number three, leading the Rams to a 12-4 record, he will be the NFL's MVP. Sean McVay going to be the coach of the year as well, so the Rams already taking home a ton of awards. But AFC Offensive Player of the Year that's going to go to Tom Brady. Lamar Jackson finished third, and Tyrod Taylor finished fourth in those votings. Defensive Player of the Year for the AFC goes to Anthony Hitchens. Wesley Woodyard just barely missed it, coming in second place in that voting. Offensive Rookie of the Year, without question, Lamar Jackson, one of the best players. You see that 73 overall total. But he's going to walk away with the Offensive Rookie of the Year in the AFC Conference. Looking at Defensive Rookie of the Year, that's going to go to Tremaine Edmonds. Linebacker, of course, for the Bills. You've seen Rashawn Evans was right there finishing second. So we got snubbed twice. But we have both of our defensive linebackers right there in the running. Best quarterback going to Tom Brady in the AFC. Best running back, that is going to go to Le'Veon Bell. Kareem Hunt was there. Leonard Fournette was there. I'm looking to see if Derrick Henry's going to make it. Although he finished third, he was only ninth when it came to best running back in the conference. So that's not really that great. But hey, he had a pretty decent year for us. Best receiver goes to Keenan Allen for the Los Angeles Chargers. Best offensive lineman, David DeCastro from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Best defensive lineman, Khalil Mack. Of course, he led the NFL with 19 total sacks. Best linebacker, we finally Finally, are getting an award, and that is Wesley Woodyard, who was winning best linebacker, best DB. Adoree Jackson finished second. The number one guy goes to Eric Berry of the Kansas City Chiefs. But Adoree Jackson, like I said, he will be a problem moving forward. Kevin Byard, he also finished sixth in that voting. And then Stephen Goskowski, he is going to be the best kicker. Now, going over to the NFC, Aaron Rodgers, Offensive Player of the Year. In the AFC. So he didn't win MVP, but he did take home Offensive Player of the Year. Bobby Wagner, Defensive Player of the Year for the NFC. So Quan Barkley, he was the Offensive Rookie of the Year, taking honors over Darius Geis, who led the NFL in rushing touchdowns. Raquan Smith, Defensive Rookie of the Year, best quarterback in the NFC. That one to Jared Goff. Todd Gurley, he won best running back. So back to back awards for the LA Rams. Doug Baldwin, best wide receiver in the NFC. Devontae Adams, I thought maybe had a better stat line, even though Doug Baldwin had more catches. Devontae Adams had 15 touchdowns, but he still did not win it. Demarcus Lawrence, though, best defense alignment. Alec Ogletree is going to take home best linebacker over Luke Keekley in the NFC. And then Justin Coleman, shocking a lot of people right here, winning best defensive back. In the NFC, see only a 77 overall, and then Cody Parkey is going to win the best kicker. So that is pretty much all of the awards, you guys. Tomorrow we will be having our wild card matchup, who we're going to be taking on. We're going to be playing, of course, the Oakland Raiders. These are going to be the, the schedule for wild card games. You have the Steelers, Chiefs, Lions, Eagles, Raiders, Titans, Rams, Packers, all in the wild card. Definitely going to be exciting, but that is everything that I have for today's episode. As always, 
I definitely hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, please go ahead, leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm see y'all next time. Peace.